governor. There's a Confederate flag hanging in the state house on the state house in South Carolina. I mean, is it? I mean, what's your? Forget governor. As a f- citizen of this country and what's happened, particularly to African Americans in that state, what's your reaction to that in 2015, Charlie Baker? You know, I am a big believer, I think, as you know, in um, I like local government more than I like um, the farther government gets away from the people, the more nervous I get about the way it behaves. Um, and, uh, and my view on stuff like this is that South Carolinians can make their own call. Um, I do believe that the reason that flag still hangs there is, you know, what I would call sort of tradition or something like that. And there's certainly a, a heated debate that's gone. One of the reasons I'm running for governor is because I think it's really important that our leaders are crystal clear about this and standing up for every single person. I want to point out, you know, Governor Baker, um, long before Donald Trump, uh, was doing some things that, that caused me to want to run uh, in this area. Likewise. So let me give you an example. You may remember that um, he defended southern states flying Confederate flags at state capitals. Now... You've seen Donald. He actually did. It was on this show that that yeah. happened. He said it, he originally he said it was an issue for the states. He did. These are flags that represent the type of thinking and hateful rhetoric and intolerance that these white supremacist groups are uh, are spewing. And uh, you know he walked it back a couple of days later. But we need a governor and we need leadership in the White House that don't need coaching and pressure and second chances to get it right.